Hi, my name is Jianxin Sun. I'm a developer for ELV Toolbox. In this demo, I'm going to show how requirements are linked to your UAV applications in Simulink and how to verify these requirements. Assuming that you have previously experimented with an algorithm that guides UAV to avoid obstacle while trying to transport package from point A to point B, now you want to productize this feature. As the very first step of productization, you can author requirements for your delivery system using Simulink Requirement Editor and link it with your Simulink model implementations. Here are some existing requirements on the UAV's guidance system, and we can add new requirements for the obstacle avoidance feature. In this new requirement, we require the UAV to always keep a safe distance to other obstacles in the environment, which is a very broad requirement that we are going to use as demonstration in this video. We implemented the obstacle avoidance algorithm using vector field histogram block from navigation toolbox based on LiDAR readings from Unreal Code Simulation and we can link our requirements to this implementation. Once we have our requirements defined, we can add automated tests to verify such requirements using Simulink tests. We can extract the UAV's algorithm and simulation section into a test harness and add our tests. I have already added one test case uh, ahead of time to lock down that the UAV's minimum distance to obstacles detected by LiDAR must remain higher than 0.5 during the simulation. This test verifies our requirement that UAV must always be away from obstacles. With one click, we can execute our test in simulation and verify the algorithm behavior. The test result is all green, meaning that our UAV can keep its distance. And in the requirement table, we now see that the safety distance requirement is implemented and verified, shown as blue and green. This helps us keep track of complicated feature development and the verification. We can add more tests that check algorithms' behavior with different goal locations in the virtual city environment and verify that the safety distance is always observed by the UAV. Additional requirements can also be added to verify the UAV's takeoff and landing behavior as well. For example, UAV should be able to check that there are no surrounding obstacles before taking off and we can create new tests that place UAV near these obstacles to validate the takeoff behavior. As this video demonstrated, using UAV Toolbox, Simulink Requirement, and Simulink Tests products enable quick iteration over algorithm requirement definition, implementation, simulation, and verification. We hope these features can help in your future projects to develop efficient and safe algorithms for UAV navigation. Thank you.